Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We got this awesome Asus G10DK that we are going to be doing a GPU upgrade. We're going to be taking out of the 1660 Ti, and we're going to be throwing the Zotec RTX 3070 in there. And we are going to do a before and after benchmark. We're going to do some side-by-side -side stuff, and you're going to get my opinion if you should upgrade to this RTX 3070. I'm going to probably say yes right off the bat, but uh, I'll give you the proof is in the pudding. So I'll just go through it, and we'll do an upgrade, and we'll do some benchmarks in gaming. Hey, guys, let's jump right into this upgrade. The first thing you're going to do is, of course, power your PC down. Go ahead and unplug all the cables and stuff like that. All right, guys, if you have a flathead screwdriver, if you don't have these cranked on, you might be able to get them off by hand, but it is also easy just to use your flathead and get them off. So you can do either or, depending on how tight you have them on there. Set your hardware off to the side, set your side panel off to the side, and I like to use the iFixit Mako 64-bit uh, kit. I have two of them on set that we use for Tech Netwit, and it's got a little tray for keeping hardware. I like to throw that in there it makes it really easy and to not lose stuff so the first thing we got to do is if you already haven't done it you are going to have to take this panel off and uh you know what i'm going to show you anyways because you're going to be upgrading this pc and you're going to be like why is why is his was so easy why is mine not working i already prepped this thing so i'm cheating a little bit you're going to have to cut three zip ties are going to be one two three otherwise this cable will not be long enough and your two six plus two pin connectors will not work the third the rtx 3070 requires two so you set your Guys off today, go ahead and get a snips or a cutters, just pair, pair of heavy duty scissors, go snip, snip, snip. And then we're gonna flip back around to the other side. Ring right round, baby, right round. So the first thing you're gonna go ahead and do is pop this power cable. I always like to disconnect all the power cables. Pull this guy through, because we're gonna need both of these. And then we have right here, we have a little like latch. You gotta push that down and it may or may not click. Like that's kind of fighting me. It is, it's definitely fighting me. So since that's fighting me, we are gonna have to take the screws away first. Or sorry, open the door and then pop the screws off. There's one, two screws right there. And this does actually have a bracket that retains it in the back right here. And it, this will not unlatch until you take that bracket out. So these are the two screws that are important. You do not have to replace this bracket. It is mainly to keep this graphics card in one piece when it is shipped. So way down in the under right here, and this will let the GPU be free. Now our unlatched device should unlatch. There you go. So you wanna be careful not to pull on the fan. So I can't get my hands all the way down there, so I'm gonna have to pull on this edge. And just wiggle and jiggle back and forth. The card will come out. Go ahead and remove your 1660 Ti. So now we are gonna install our RTX 3060. There's nothing really special about this other than lining it up with the port. So I have gotten this in here before. It's not easy. You gotta kinda get it, like, get it on an angle. This sucks. This card's too big. So, I mean, I can't get the Zotec in here, but I'm gonna suggest that you don't do the Zotec because this is gonna be kind of a hard fit. And if you gotta do this to your PC, because I'm now pushing my fingers on the other side to guide it. Yeah, you can get the cut, you can get the Zotec in here, but I had to pretty much run it over this bar right here because of how Asus has this set up. So as you can see, it will fit but it's gonna be a hard tight fit. I had to come in on an angle, and one little trick I had to do is I had to stick my fingers right here so the these little prongs don't come out on this side because you can literally seat the card and have them out on this side and then they don't catch, so you gotta stick your fingers there to guide it. The Zotec is definitely gonna not be the card you wanna stick in here. You're gonna probably wanna get the MSI or ASUS. It's gonna be a little bit blockier, but you won't have this problem. I could probably snip this plate and uh, take a Dremel to this stupid plastic stuff that they have on here, that shroud, and it would go right in. I mean, Zotec, like, engineer your cards a little bit better. I mean, th all this is is a piece of plastic that has some lights in it. It's silly stupid. All right, guys, after you got the GPU slotted in here, and of course there's silliness, and I'm sorry about my little rant, we want to first put the two screws in here, so when we're putting pressure up and down on this card, trying to get these power connectors in, the the the... The card's not flopping around in the slot. The card is not flopping around in the slot. 
Slaw. Whoa. So you want to put two screws in right here. Kind of give your uh, GPU a little hike up. I'm not putting a lot of pressure, but just enough to keep it in position. And this will secure the GPU so when we're moving it around, it doesn't, uh, well, we're moving it around because we're trying to shove power wires into it. So we're going to get our 2, 6 plus 2 in here and send it home. But if you see, that's not all the way seated right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. See how that guy's not, now it's seated. But you got to be careful with these. Hey, Zeus, why? Why do you have such a crappy power supply in here? There we go. So as we look, we don't, and you can see, this uh, ground actually is trying to pull itself out. So let's make sure that that stays. There we go. Yeah, that wasn't an all the way. That's a good way to smoke your graphics card. So we're going to have to kind of bend this wire up a little bit so our uh, side panel can fit. And that's the RTX 3070 installed in a nutshell. All right, guys, now that we got this done, I'm not going to make you bore through me putting this PC back together. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Before we do our benchmarks and gamings, I'm going to bring a side by side to you really quick. We're going to jump over to the on screen and on our left is our RTX 3070. We scored 11,538 and our lightweight contender, which got KO'd three rounds of, of fighting and it just couldn't do it anymore. Anyways, our GTX 1660 Ti hit 6,152. And yeah, I'm going to definitely say the RTX 3070 is the clear contention of the winner here. And he just left no room. Anyways, guys, we're going to jump into some gaming and benchmarks and see how these really compare. Hey guys, yeah, wow, just the RTX 3070 just knocked that 1660 Ti right out of the park. I mean, no comparison, hands down, going to be the better bet. Unless you get yourself a 4060 Ti, um, I know a lot of people are hating on them right now, but with the price comparison, I do like the 4060. Um, of course, you could get a 4070, but you're talking about a different price point at that point. I mean, when you're looking at an RTX 3070, you're kind of all in the same price points right there. I will eventually do a side-by-side -side comparison of a bunch of these graphics cards, um, probably a separate video in the future. But guys, I am really happy with this upgrade. The only problem I'm, I, my beef with this thing is this thing is running warm. It definitely is going to need some cooling upgrades. We are going to have to look into that. I don't know if it's going to be cutting into the side panel, cutting into the bottom or something. This thing just, I mean, the top is, is closed. The side is closed. This gives you like an eighth inch of, of airflow. It's just not very good. But anyways, guys, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm TechNitwin, and I'm out, y'all.